In spring, the trial of eight men accused of conspiring to kill the Pope convened and the facts began to emerge. During the trial, several Turkish defendants testified that they aided Agka in his travels from Turkey through Bulgaria to Italy. Another said he had made payments to Agka from the Bulgarians on trial. One admitted delivering the assassination weapon to Agka in a Milan restaurant. By the 1980s, after two centuries of positioning their people in high places, the Illuminati had apparently gained control of the Italian courts. In the end, to the amazement of most observers, the Italian court found that there was insufficient evidence to convict the conspirators. The Agca case not only illustrated that the secret brotherhood had compromised the Italian judicial system, it also showed that the Illuminati had reached the very top of the KGB. In 1990, Viktor Ivanovich Shemov, a KGB major, who defected to the U.S. made a shocking admission. Before he escaped from Russia in 1980, he received an order to obtain all the information possible how to get physically close to the Pope. The order was signed by Yuri Andropov himself, at the time the head of the KGB. The same Yuri Andropov who would only a few years later become the head of the Soviet Union. The Illuminati's final step to domination called for military coups around the world to seize power in order to create one global government controlled by them. To accomplish this, they would use the huge surplus of catastrophic weapons stockpiled in the USSR to threaten the entire world. Although the KGB was the most well-known, it was not the only espionage entity run by the former USSR. Another agency, just as massive, but even more secret than the KGB, was the GRU, carrying out military intelligence. And the secret brotherhood went to great lengths to infiltrate it. The proof that they were successful is revealed in these highly classified GRU agency documents that we purchased from a black market document dealer in Russia. In them, an agent is given his orders to work using the cover of a journalist in Washington, D.C. Once again, the Illuminati has left their telltale sign. The period under high magnification is the pyramid and all-seeing eye. While the KGB collected information on political figures and influenced politics around the globe, the GRU gathered intelligence essential for achieving military objectives. Some of the activities of the GRU were aimed at achieving objectives in various ongoing conflicts such as Afghanistan. But the major mission of the GRU was to prepare for future wars with other countries, especially the USA. It was this agency that was ready made to be used to place the deadly weapons for the final phase of Illuminati's dark plan. The GRU operatives were perfectly trained for the operation. In time of uh, Cold War beginning, uh, in the mid, in the end, actually all time uh, of our military service, uh, we were used in uh, military preparation of the uh, former Soviet Union for the future war against America. Beside their military education, GRU operatives underwent three years of exhaustive training. They learned to use all the tools and techniques of the spy, and they became experts in explosives. Once fully trained, the GRU agents were moved to assignments in foreign countries. Some were given diplomatic covers and went to work in embassies. Others assumed positions as journalists, as is the case in the secret documents we obtained with the insignia of the Illuminati. One was Stanislav Lunev, a former GRU colonel, who in 1992, after 20 years with the agency, would become Russia's highest ranking military officer to defect. In his book and in an exclusive interview with us, Lunev gives a first-hand look into the GRU. 
Although his face was never shown, he would not even mention the Illuminati, although he never denied their existence or involvement in the GRU. He does, however, reveal some shocking facts. In the United States, I worked in uh, Washington, D.C. operational area, uh, under the same cover as a TASS news agency correspondent. It's very good cover because, you know, between journalists and uh, spies, real spies, uh, there are a lot of common, because uh, all of them are looking for news and for real information. Once in position in the field, the GRU agents had various tasks. One was to help coordinate terrorist campaigns to destabilize unfriendly governments. GRU officials have now revealed that during the Vietnam War, the agency invested over $1 billion promoting the anti-war campaign in the US. This expertise at manipulating governments was a skill that fit exactly with the Illuminati's future plans for overthrowing governments. Another major part of the GRU's agents' work was laying the groundwork for Russian special forces, the Spetsnaz. These elite troops under the GRU would penetrate countries to perform military sabotage when needed. Some would blow up strategic targets, such as power stations, bridges, and communication centers. Others would form assassination squads to kill government leaders and their families. This was an ability of great value for the Illuminati for world domination. In order to bring the Russian special forces into foreign countries when required, the GRU needed to assure themselves that they would have access to cross the borders. For this, they relied on the expertise of the KGB. The agency excelled at gaining entry into unfriendly countries. They needed to be able to consistently position their spies and smuggle out information. Illuminati.